I'm Justin Adams and uh, I'm sitting here at home. Hey, this is Mauro Durante. I'm uh, in my home, at home in Lecce, in the south of Italy, in Salento. First time I met Justin, it was uh, at uh, La Notte della Taranta Festival, held in August, every August uh, in uh, Melpignano, a small village in, uh, here in Salento where I live. Uh, the director was Ludovico Einaudi, a famous and great uh, pianist and composer, a very good friend of mine. Ludovico decided to invite Justin and his uh, friend Giulte to the event, and that's how I met. And so we, we got to become friends, and that was the most beautiful gift. Uh, we found each other as sort of, you know, uh, kindred spirits. So I didn't know a lot about Taranta music at the time, but I was intrigued uh, about this southern Italian kind of folk music that uh, was involved with trance and healing. It was very ancient. It had, uh, it was like obviously an old Mediterranean music but uh, it was vibrant and alive as a tradition um, and so I went and rehearsed with these incredible musicians the core of the band for that festival was a group that I didn't know from before called Canzoneri Grecanico Salentina led by Mauro Durante a very kind human bunch of young musicians who really inspired me with their their approach, and they really uh, they seemed to like the way that I I played with their music. The possible interaction that could happen between his own way of playing his music and playing guitar and our music that was great, it was mind blowing. I find his touch, either when he's playing the guitar, I, I just need a couple notes and uh, and I know that's Justin, his signature. <laughs> I don't play it in a kind of standard um, rock way particularly. Um, I've, I've uh, incorporated elements of old blues, bits of Arabic music, uh, folk music, um, you know, just say any, things, that, things that I like, but uh, I love trancey music and uh, I, I love Moroccan Ganawa music, for example, or the, or the music that I've heard in the desert from Tinaroe and these kind of people, Ali Farka Toure, but also, you know, wild jazz guitarists like um, James Blood Elmer or, you know, funk, Afrobeat, all these kind of things. <laughs> have crossed uh, while we've both been on tour over the past uh, seven or eight years. We've met in Paris and San Francisco and in London. In London when we crossed paths we just looked at each other and said why don't we do a duo project, just the two of us. And we've both are used to playing in big bands with big arrangements which is great um, but sometimes it's nice to have the change of doing something really raw and stripped down and simple where you, it's boiled down to the bare essentials. And that was the, you know, the seed, the, the beginning of this uh, journey. We come from very different backgrounds, you know, I started in uh, post-punk days and obviously I've, I've played um, 
uh, with lots of different musicians from different cultures, West Africa, North Africa, the desert, lots of English rockers and uh, you know, experimental musicians, this kind of thing. Mauro from a more uh, traditional music background. But we both, we seem to be able to work very easily together. I think what unites us is, is we love that that music that gives you a, a feeling of uh, a little bit of pain, that sort of slightly dark feeling, that the lament and uh, the understanding, you know, the, of the suffering of life, and then the release in in the rhythm that you, you can get lost in, that you dance and 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 uh, the sort of heavy, heavy dance music that you can really. It heals, and and uh, this is this is the root of Taranta music, and that's what draws draws me to the music. Justin and I may come from different music musical paths, but we have something that really uh, unites us. There is this connection with trance music, with dance, with these uh, haunting and uh, repetitive patterns that can help your, your mind and uh, your soul travel elsewhere. The trance is a sort of a slightly alterated state of consciousness. It's when you are not completely lucid, but still it's halfway, you know, being totally out of your mind and in control of your own body. While you are in trance, there are people that can do incredible things. And we have this approach in music, you know, uh, I play uh, traditional uh, music and, uh, that is connected to trance, to, uh, even to a ritual of possession, that is Tarantism. And so we are trying to feature in our new compositions this approach made of uh, simple melodies, simple structures that can still give you this sense of, uh, um, re of, of a circle, you know, something round, uh, accompaniment for your daydreaming. I think what people can expect when they hear Mauro and my music, it's got a lot of roots in, in uh, traditional music from southern Italy, but the, the traditional musics that I've listened to uh, in, in my life, but it's got a kind of raw, um, punky uh, attitude to it. Um, I'm playing my uh, electric gold top and um, sounds like that. And um, and uh, he's playing his incredible uh, fiddle and uh, the tamburella drum, which he, he's a he's a maestro on. I think that coming to our show people can expect to uh, experience a sort of uh, spontaneous and authentic performance because it's gonna be the two of us in dialogue, performing music and you will see and, and hear exactly what you are experiencing. There is no structure, no uh, intervention of machines or everything, uh, you'll be Truly, with us, uh, you will be listening to what we have, what we are trying to give people and audience real time, and we look forward to seeing you all dancing, smiling, maybe crying, 
along with us.